have varying commentators. Darren with Ace King suited. Hey chat room, I dare you to donate a dollar. Thank you so much, Fishhead. We appreciate those comments. I love it. Ooh, Tammy could see herself getting a little bit of trouble here. Darren's flopped the good good, and Tammy's got the good not so good. Tammy <laughs> raised it up. <laughs> Thank you, Tulip Sniper. Appreciate the follow. Just a call. Ooh, quick check by Darren. You think these shades are a little more uh, opaque so you maybe can't see the board as well? I'm not sure. So, bet and a call. Check. She's going to check back. When he says two kings, she knows her kicker's not any good. Unless maybe he had a 10. Yeah, that could have been a chop. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, the other cards. <clears throat> hey, Rusty, did you tell any of your friends to come come watch us yet? We're counting on you guys. All you guys in the in the green uh, in the green uh, screen name font. Tell, tell your friends. Is that a donkey or a horse? That is a donkey, I believe, is a okay. card protector. I, guess I love you, that. I mean, I guess if you know, <laughs> you're, you're never surprised, right? <laughs> we got some hands here. Sevens making their appearance again. King Queen suited, King Jack suited, Sevens, Eight Nine suited. Uh oh, new high water mark up to 65 viewers. All right, thanks guys. We're climbing. A few more, we'll hit a thousand. Thanks for the clarification, Brent. Is that one of the situations where it takes one to know one? Tammy raises the 12 with her sevens. Brad calls with eight nine suited. I think Brad's just like, you know what? Anything that looks reasonable, I'm getting in this thing. I mean, Tammy just Tammy has blasted off like 65 bucks with king four, king crappy kicker. Four players. I like the eight nine. I do. Okay. It's a good spot for a continuation bet. My bad. My bad, money mics. I was just teasing you guys. Donations are just a bonus. We're here just to entertain you guys and to uh, create great poker content for you. I'm, we're happy you're here. We're happy you're in the uh, in the chat room with us. Seven's just getting done. Well, it was a good spot for a continuation bet. I think, yeah, well, given the hands that she's up against for sure, but I feel like, I mean, Tammy's never really bluffing, but she's never super strong, so I feel like I always would have the propensity to call take her. one off. Yeah. Just to see just to see what she's going to do next, you know what I mean? Yeah. From what I've seen her play tonight and other nights, I, I would call her a lot lighter than I would call a lot of other people. Right on. Looks like we got some Butterfinger Bites in the middle for this one. And here comes Ace King suited again. For Mike this time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you beat me to it. We can see a good pot here. Well, not too good, and that's only got 66. Lapa Alex, thank you for the follow, my man. Or woman. I guess Alex is one of those names, right? You know, I, I don't know. I knew a girl I, named Alex. Did you? No guy named Alex. Uh-oh. Even they're already chatting about it, like, oh, 
Come up for a favorite candy. See, even even something so silly as is putting out Butterfinger bites in the middle, the metagame just changes. Like, oh, they're just trying to win the candy. And we have the re-raise. Okay. It's just a bad thing for Annette here that she doesn't have that much more. We were getting some, some really nice props on the chat room right now, so thank you guys. So we got aces versus ace king, and the ace king said that's a pretty good hand. It's a really good hand. It's one of the best hands. It's my favorite. Is it your favorite? Yeah, that's I, I, that's good. And she hasn't even eaten a chocolate milk duds yet. <laughs> She's over there just collecting Gandhi. Uh oh. Can we get a sweat here? Oh, oh we two have two hearts. Oh. 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 oh, that's a brutal beat. That is how you win milk duds, my friend. Ace King takes down aces. I can't believe he did that to you. He is a blue bag. Yeah, but I'm a D-bag with Butterfingers. Oh! <laughs> he does this all the time. He totally gets outplayed and gets there. Looks like a net might be done. She's picked up her pillow and walked away. So it looks like a net's going to be done for the night. We do have an alternate player oh ready to God. fill the seat. So once we get them uh, all taken care of, we are going to uh, send them to the table. I'll tell you what, poker is a brutal, brutal game. What's more brutal, poker or golf? Poker. Yeah, hands down? Hands down to me. I think I get equally upset with either one of them. But at, well, least, at least golf, I have some control. I don't lose near as much money playing golf but with golf though it's like guaranteed loss well yeah you buy you pay for your uh you pay for your your golf cart and poof money's gone i just enjoy a nice day outside okay out there hugging trees and whatnot i'm usually hitting from the tree so i well i give them a hug i don't even bother go, when they go in the trees i just drop one <laughs> that means two things folks yeah you know what I meant. Oh, you mean like a new golf ball? Yeah. I got you. Mike's on a heater. Mike might not lose another pot rest of the night. Yeah, when you're running that good, when you run ace king into aces and you take them down, it's. Do it for the Warriors. Yeah, let's get the uh, let's get the uh, uh, debate going on in the chat, guys. Poker or golf? What's more frustrating? I think you have to be a degenerate to play both. No regard for your own your own feelings about life. That's probably why I play both, and both of them equally bad too. You guys on the chat are just so nice. Appreciate it so much. Are they? I want them back. I'd like to thank uh, our pal Bobby B. Million Miller in the other room, our moderator, keeping up with the chat, talking to all you guys. That's the word on the street. Keith with a raise to 7-8. Keith is our new player coming in and raising the first hand he plays. Our names are, my name is Trevor Greenewalt, and my co-host here is Paul Boston, Money Mikes. You can also go to our, our Facebook page, Poker on Air. Uh, on the fa just search for it. Thank you, Shu, for being a follower. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, let's go to our Facebook page, search Poker on Air. You'll find us. You can follow us on there. Get all of our updates, see photos, behind the scenes, <clears throat> see the see what we're seeing. You know, all of our setup everywhere. I got another gift. 
Just give me a second, guys. And Keith uh, raises it up with 7-8 and makes the continuation bet with second pair and takes it down. When the first potty sits down. All right, Chatters, I got another surprise for you. There's been a, a wardrobe change. These ones seem to be. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they call me Iceman. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate the shades, my man. Well, we're having too much fun over here, guys. All right, Bradley with 10s. Not sure what Pete has. Probably like Ace King. I mean, he's had like every other hand. So we've got nines out there, tens out there. There's Pete's cards. Thanks, Pete. He's disqualified from hand. Pete's done a little card dance there. Mike with an AC. Tens didn't raise. Little surprise there. So who got there? Where, where Rick flopped a set of nines. That's a really good hand. Really good hand. And he bet ten. And nobody wants to play. See you later, Mother Banger. Thank you for sticking around for as long as you did. We really appreciate you uh, hanging out with us. You were a joy to have in the chat, so I appreciate oh, that. Awesome. Make sure it doesn't reach in the bag. Those are not yet Amen, brother. Right. Amen, brother. Never know where those hands are. Been. I'd have to agree with you there, Fish Jr. I don't know how sure how Darren could see through these things. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing all his suits looked like spades because it just looks really dark through these that's things. That's probably why he wanted to switch. That's a really good point. These are for these are like blue blockers. On that those, night, on those ultra sunny days. I don't think he's won a hand since he switched them. Yeah, I think he got these from the infomercial. Come on, Bradley. Come on, Bradley. Yeah, Nerd Voice, there's been nice. many hours behind the scenes to get this thing up and running. Many thanks to all of our crew for all the hours for putting this together. Months and months to get this together. I mean, if you really think about it, years and years. I mean, this started as, yes. a, as a simple game at uh, at our founder's home where they used to use uh, little web cameras and... You know, everyone would share their cards, and, you know, acting like WPT, WSOP kind of deal. Somebody would write it down, give it to the commentators so they could go talk about it. So we've evolved quite a ways over the last few years. And uh, don't forget to uh, check out our pokerfitness.tv for some uh, yoga training to help your poker game improve your stamina, flexibility, your endurance at the poker table. Endurance is key. Like you don't want you don't want to ha be on a heater. You're you know you're limping into your eighth hour of the night and your back is spazzing out or something like that. You want to be able to have strong core muscles and be able to sit there for another four or six hours and take all the money from the table. I know I have, when I'm sitting, at the, I've got to get up every couple hours to get up and walk around, or by the time I do, my back's completely locked up. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I have I have times where I don't feel like paying for a massage. I wish I could just have yeah. have my own ability to just, you know, go and, and play for 12, 16 hours. It's assuming I still have money in front of me, right? Oh, wow. Tough call here for Tammy. Yeah, I mean, Darren has not been out of line whatsoever. So unless she puts him on complete airball, which is what he what he has. Oh, that and she does do nice it. That's cool, man. That's a lot of wow, good for her. I don't know if I would call her. I mean, I guess she's kind of like the prototypical station. That's a hell of a call. But I don't know. Blocking her just seems like not the best. Idea. Yeah, I I don't. You're not going to succeed at it too much. Yeah. 
All right, Mike's got king, queen of hearts. Yeah. That's one of my trouble hands. Yeah. I tend to, I tend to overplay it a bit. It's one of the biggest, most overplayed hands, I yeah. think, especially in cash games. I have a question for the for the chat room right now. As you can see, we have all of our whole cards come up at the same time. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, we have the option of running them out one at a time like you would see on a normal TV broadcast. But we do things a little bit differently. But if you like the, the standard way, let us know, and we'll do our best to accommodate to what you guys like. Brad calls with fours. Pete calls with nine ten. Fire player. Who do you like? Rudy calls with three six. I like the king queen. I like the nine nope, ten. Nine ten. Oh, nine you ten. Me to it. I'll take the fours then. Darn it. Sure. And the king queen. Oh, the king eight gets a diamond flush draw. It's not a bad start. Ooh. Pot size bet. Just fires out. Is that, is that Mike, huh? Yeah. Garbage. Yeah, it is a draw heavy board. I never played poker with you. Oh, this is poker. Rudy Ross, yeah. Thanks for the input, chat. Appreciate it. How else will we know? Let's we uh, see what you guys like. Rick calls a 40 with his draw. Seems like one by one is the uh, consensus right now. Maybe a 9 or 10 here to give him another draw. Is it coming? Oh, nope, the diamond gets there. It's like, eh, we'll, we'll just stop right there. <laughs> Let's see if... Uh, <laughs> You're talking about tetherball at the table. I wish I could uh, hear how that Yeah, get back started. to that one. Mike still bets 65 when the flush gets there. Oh, boy. I think I just call here. The way he let out so... Fairly fast. Maybe we'll try to switch it to uh, one at a time after the after this next break, which we're still a little ways away from. <laughs> oh, that's gonna kill the action for him. What do you bet here to get him to call? Pot's two fifty. It doesn't matter. You could bet. I mean, you can bet fifty bucks. Maybe not even that. I think he might just be folding all the time. Hide your kids, hide your wife, because the diamond flush just got there. Diamonds are a Rick's best friend, right? <laughs> yeah, that was that was a bad bad river card for uh, Rick there. Fish Jr. trying to win the chat right now. That's pretty funny. All right, good hand, Rick. Well, maybe. Hey chat room, how much do you guys play poker on a weekly basis? One time a week? Seven days a week? How many hours do you guys put in? Online or live too? Yeah. Add it together. But specify when you talk about it. We are curious. Because we can't play online where we live. Brad with my favorite hand. Must be a 10-8 suited somewhere, huh? Do so you think Brad's going by Bradley tonight because he's dressed so fancy? That could be. So, like, if he had, like, uh, sweatpants on, he'd go by Brad? Yeah. Maybe just, it, maybe just B? His Green Bay jersey and the sweatpants, he'd just be Brad. That's right. Brad raises the 10. As you should with 10-8 suited. It's kind of like the rules. And we get three players. Thanks for hanging out with us, Wiggles. Uh, Thank you, Grammys. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Flop is ace, queen, queen. Thank you, CB and Down. Brad's 
They check it to Brad, and he's going to bet 25. I don't think he's going to sneak this one by Rick. Yeah, cause I mean, Rick's got, I mean, he has a lot of chop outs. Now he's got a flush draw, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Is Pete sleeping? Cheese curls are a man's best friend. 50 into a pot of 83. It's a pretty big bet. Doesn't it kind of just scream like, please fold. Pretty, pretty, please, please fold. Like a jack of spades would just be brutal here. Or jack cards. Oh! Oh! That's like a, that's like a tether ball to the nards right there. Oh, that's, that's just rough. So Rick makes makes two brilliant like heroy type calls and then just gets smacked in the face. Bluff, bluff, and get there. Hit the runner, runner. That's kind of how the knight's been running. Pete kind of had a spot like that earlier. How much did he bet? Hundred bucks. 81. Oh. Ooh, interesting number. Oh, that's a that's a good bet. That's a good bet. Cool. Yeah, nice, nice bet. Uh, he only, I bet he looks almost like sheepish right now, turning his hand over. Does he know? Does he know he has? Oh. Did he, he had a straight. Oh, he didn't even know he. He didn't even know he had the straight. Is this real life? Did this happen? Did oh my god, did he really just fold that? Was he so like convinced that he was, he was bluffing, bluffing that he didn't double check to make sure he had a straight? Oh, oh my, my goodness. god. Wow. Now there's a there's a storyline. No, he did not expect someone bluff bluff get there. Think they're bluffing in the river. Turns oh. out they actually had the straight. And then they muck it. They showed one card and mucked it, too. I'll tell you what. It's not an unheard of thing. Uh, Phil Ivey did it a few years ago during the World Series of Poker on one of their broadcasts. I remember that, yeah. He folded, he folded his flush. Yep. He called, then folded. Or got called. One of the two. Something weird happened. It's Darren with the, Darren with the JJs. I think people kind of need, need to relax with, the, with jacks. People get so scared, like, I always lose with jacks. I always, like, just relax. Just play. Do you freak out with tens? Probably yeah. not. Just play jacks like a man or a really tough woman. Either way, just play them Play them with some conviction, and you won't lose as often as you do. You know, if, if you raise them, you got to be able to get away from them. You know, if you slow play them, once again, you got to be able to get away from them. So do we have a limp, limp call here? Is that what happened? Darren limp, Pete Ray, no, raise. Like, no, I think Darren raised. I think Pete re-raised, and now we're seeing a flop. Okay. Now Pete's going to take control, and Darren's going to be like, man, I wish I had my other sunglasses again. 30. How much does he have left? <laughs> <laughs> Ask how much Pete's got left. About 455, 425. This is why three betting is the best. You make hands like jacks fall into the muck. Well Pete's, played. Well Pete's played by just, Pete. He's rock solid. He is. I'm at that point now. This is what always happens during our broadcast. We sit here and watch. We talk. We laugh. We commiserate. And now it's like, I want to go to the table. Like, obviously, it's, it's not the nicest thing because I've been watching all the hands all night long. But I'm at that point where it's like, let me out there. Let me go four bet some people. They won't know what's coming. <laughs> put Pete, put Pete back in his place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the first time you do, he's gonna have the knots on you. He would. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here just, just jamming in his face, and he goes, "Oh, I have quads." Thank you, Jake Cook Ten. Appreciate the follow. 
Thank you for having a name. Nerd Voice. Welcome, my friend. Yeah. Rusty Rider. Thanks for the follow, my man. Okay, okay, chat room. Let's have a little. Let's have a little <laughs> secret talk right now. We need your opinion. Do we tell Brad oh, at the well, break yeah, that he that mucked up. the winner, or do we let him think that you know he just got caught bluffing? Do we give him the pain, or do we let him live another day? Up to you guys. <laughs> Nerd voice, you got that right. And Rick takes another pot here. Here it comes. Oh, man. One hand too Little boy. Nice. We've got cookies in the middle Here's of the pot. Nice. Who do you think is going to win this one? Um, well, Mike, Mike yeah. won the last one. After Rick, a, uh, Rick's won them both. No, oh, yeah. He won the cookies. Yeah. He won the cookies uh, Mike every won, time. Mike won the Butterfinger yeah. BB action. That's why I'm talking. The cookies. He's Co won the cookies every time so far. I think he's going to try to go for the trifecta for sure. But these cookies are brought to you by Notably Sweet. Check out NotablySweet.com for all of what she offers. Her name is Becky Dunleavy, and she works her tail off to provide these delicious treats for anyone of all ages and walks of life. Rick's just a cookie magnet, I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, he's gonna I'll have a hard time winning this. I'll be one, surprised though. if he lets yeah. this one go. I think Rick should have put that there. Yeah, Rick just said he can't get away from winning the chocolate. It's probably gonna be all twos. Because he watched Sesame Street for 14 years. And that was the last. Drum roll, please. There it is. Two diamonds for Rudy, and he leads out. Hey, Team Rudy, you guys still hanging out in the chat room? It's a good spot for him. I don't know. Imagine my surprise. Those guys have had more balls bounce off their nose than a circus seal. Uh, that was a weird comment. I just heard circus seal and balls on people's noses. <laughs> that was pretty good, Pete, wasn't it? <laughs> We're going to have to get some updated chip counts at the break. They just showed Brad's stack is 480 or something. I don't believe that's correct. Yeah. And Rudy's got the cookies. Well done, Rudy. And look at you being a p true gentleman, passing them out to everyone else at the table. No, thank you. Yeah. Oh, boy, Rudy. Good job. So we have a, uh, a straw poll going on online or on the, in the chat right now. So you guys get to decide. Do we tell him or don't we tell him? It's all up to you. And by the way, those chocolate-covered Oreos were awesome. I ate mine on the last break. I haven't had mine yet. And I, will you quit eyeballing it? I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm going, did you eat that yet? I'm going to save it. I'm going to take it home tonight with a nice tall glass of milk. What a waste. Waste of what? Milk? No. Instant gratification. Oh, no. It's all about patience, my friend. I'm all about instant gratification. All right. Our new player, Keith, has a couple of nines here. 21. Pete raised a six with 10-7 suited. Does he, think, does he think there's chocolates again? That was only the last hand. Keith actually has been fairly aggressive. I mean, he's only played a couple of hands, but he hasn't just called behind. He's either raised or been the original raiser. Some call him Sticky Pete or Stinky Pete? I'm not sure. Uh oh. That's a that's a that's bigger than. Uh, oh wow. 
well. Thank you, Turksy. Appreciate the follow. We're gonna get a four bet here. We are. This is this isn't uh, as Mike myself said. These are not the kitty games. The two young guys at the table. Keith isn't super deep. I wouldn't be super surprised if he is slammed in the middle. Never played with Keith before. Don't know anything about him. No, so. he's got a real, real solid like, real solid like uh, fade haircut there. A little high and tight action. Yeah, he calls. So he just flats it. I just think nines are like just too strong in this spot. Granted, I can see everything, and I'm rarely wrong in this spot. Ooh. Oh, this is yeah. This is that's, gonna get the rest of it. That's the in. worst. Yeah, this is gonna get the rest of that 99 in the pot, I believe. I mean, Keith couldn't ask really for a better flop outside of a nine, and Pete actually flops top pair when he was yeah. getting a little squirrely with his 10-7 suited. If you're gonna call that raise, you can't you can't fold here, can you? I wouldn't think so. I mean, he might just be Hollywood just a touch. Well, it, to make himself look a little more weak and then just stick well, it in the middle. Pete's already bet more than he's got. Oh, did he? Yeah. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention. These guys in the chat room got me all flustered. Oh, is he going to get it through? Oh. He's going to get it. Oh. Oh, slow motion. How do you call as our, as our, how do you call fifty and then fold with a six high, seven high board? As our Jason Somerville coined the the terminology, Keith was put in a cage. Yeah. He just he just saw sharks swimming around him and just said, you know what, I'm tapping out. I'm not. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about that one. I. Pete got me a little confused. Pete likes what happened. He's, oh, absolutely. He's a, he's a huge fan. That's one I don't think I could have made. If I'm going to call that pre-flop raise, I'm going to get it all in there on that flop. Not only that, I mean, it's, it's you, just, I don't know. You can't you're, ask for a much better flop. Your hand's just too good to, to flat fold in that spot. Flat pre and, and fold on the flop. Six. Yeah, when the pot's bigger than your stack and you get, you've got an overpair to the board, it's it's a tough fold for me. Fishhead, where do you live? Do you live anywhere near Ohio? Pete's rocking and rolling again here with pocket fives. A lot of face cards, suited connector. That's right around the corner. Rudy defends with the five nine. Well, sure. Something about sun shining on a dog's certain parts. <laughs> and that flop just whiffs. Pretty the world. good. Pretty good flop for fives. It's like Pete's playing with pot control. This many people. Deep weight. That didn't help you. Pretty innocuous six. Damn it, Rudy. That's Rudy bets the five nine. Wow. Oh. I'm betting Team Rudy likes that bet. Team Rudy, you guys still out there? Tomo, we understand. We get it. You know, as a, a little bit of a slowness to it. That's why we try to entertain you with our quick wit and uh, handsome demeanor. That's why we put on people's sunglasses and put cookies in the middle and have ourselves a good time. All right, I believe this will be our last hand before our next 10 minute break. Hopefully, it's as good as the last hand before the first break. Get on that straw pull, everybody. I want to see what the results are going to be. Team Rudy. I hope I hope Team Rudy is trending on Twitter right now. That'd be amazing. <laughs> well, we got an ace queen. Couple of ace rags to go against it. How many subscribers and and all that good stuff before we can start affording massage girls during our broadcast? You know what? Actually, on second thought, I'll just do some yoga poses during the break. 
to stretch to out. Stretch out my back. Thank you, Shipwalk. Appreciate the follow, my man. Or woman. I'm sorry I keep using specific gender. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know about your downstairs. Brad raises a 10, the two ace rags call, and the six nine off calls. Pretty Brad, good flop for Brad. Yeah. Lee. Brad, Brad, Brad Lee. And see, look at his stack, says 478, but that does not look like 478. That looks a bit like 125. Yeah. All right, and we'll be on a 10-minute break. Okay, guys, we're going to take a quick 10-minute break, show you a few commercials, show you some more yoga poses. We're going to tally up the straw right. poll and find yeah, out right. if we're going to reveal our little secret to Bradley. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be back in a little bit. Hi, I'm Jay Rosencrantz. Join me March 10th for a live interview with Trevor and Dan at PokerOnAir.com. improve your poker game, we're going to link some poses together. In linking the poses, we're going to make sure that we're moving the breath with the body, which is the union or the yoga. Traditionally, monks did yoga, so it supported their meditation practice of sitting for long periods of time. Sounds pretty familiar for a poker player, right? So linking poses together or practicing a series of asanas is going to support your sitting and playing poker for long periods of time. So let's get started. So you can see here Paul is in child's pose. He's relaxing and he's integrating himself to his practice and the time right here, right now on his mat. His fingertips are spread nice and wide. His shoulder blades are dropped in. And he's breathing slowly in and out through his nose. So we're going to begin to link the poses. So Paul, go ahead and just scoot your fingertips slightly forward, engaging the forearms. Yep, and slowly pull forward, come to all fours. Make sure that you're stacked. Bring the wrists underneath the elbows, elbows underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and your knees are hips distance apart. You're inhaling, take a deep breath out, Act, find your cat pose. Go ahead, take the spine high. Stretch it out, pull the belly into the spine, dropping the head, and inhale, find your cow pose. So vertebrae by vertebrae, moving with the breath nice and slow, bringing space and energy into the spine. Oh yeah, that feels, looks like it feels great. Go ahead, find your cat pose again. So this is on an exhale, the spine lengthens tall, pulling the belly in pushing through the hands, and then on the exhale, or sorry, inhale, then he finds his cow pose, tailbone high, you can see the movements and the change in the spine, and Paul, go ahead and come to a flat back, and just equal out, nice, take a deep breath in and out, and then on your next inhale, let's raise your right hand forward and the left hand back, so stabilize yourself and slowly lift your limbs. Flex that back foot. Don't pull too hard. Come back down a little bit on your shoulder. There you go. Yeah. It's important to know your limits and not try to overdo it. That looks beautiful. Pull the belly in. 
Feeling the energy run between the fingertips and the toes, building the heat a little bit. Take a deep breath in, Paul, and then exhale, lower your appendages down. Excellent. Go ahead, inhale, other side. Left arm comes forward, right arm comes back. Flex that back foot. Make sure you're not overdoing it. Drop that arm just a little bit, beautiful. Breathe and reach. Pull the belly in, space into the spine. One more deep inhale, exhale, bring it back down, find your stable back. There you go, turn your toes under and take your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, fingertips are spread wide. You can see the stretch pull through the back, tailbone up. And that completes our series of poses. Now you can do these poses, this linking, for you can repeat them again and again. So Paul could drop back down and find his all fours position. Then cat cow again. And they're all easily linked because we're moving slowly from the knees. And then find your cow pose. And flatten the back. And reach forward, right hand out, left leg back. I think you guys get the idea. So you can move through them and link them together, or you can hold them for long periods of time. Take a deep breath in, Paul, and relax the leg and arm down. Your next inhale, lift the left side. Feeling the energy and the strength. Come on, back down. Turn the toes under, take the tailbone back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out, Paul, maybe open the mouth and let out that breath. Excellent. And then go ahead and drop your knees to the mat. Toe heel your feet, your knees, sorry, toe, bring your knees and then bring your big toes to touch. Here we go. And then sit back, find your child's pose. And that completes the series. Thanks for joining us for our poker fitness session number one. For more information, please visit our website, pokerfitness.tv or pokeronair.com. Namaste. Rubber City Poker. During the break, we took a straw poll to determine whether or not we were going to tell Brad about his mucked winning hand 
and the people have spoken and you guys determined that we are actually going to tell him. So we're going to shoot to the table now to watch the process of telling him he mugged We're going to see the pain live and in action. Uh, we are loving Twitch. We're loving being on Ustream also. Uh, please uh, check out the website, the yoga, uh, pokerfitness.tv, and also Twitch. Uh, you're on the Twitch. Um, but we did a straw poll to our audience, and there was, we voted whether or not we were going to be uh, telling uh, a player whether or not they folded incorrectly or not. And you voted 9 to 5 to tell him. So uh, in the hand between Maverick or Rick Parker and uh, um, Brad, Bradley, he's Bradley on there. Uh, Bradley uh, folded a straight, and so the audience wanted you to be on tilt. <laughs> Oh, great. Well, I appreciate it. Nice. You're going to get a pretty nice. so, That's okay, Brad. Get it back, Brad. Get it back. Consolation prize of a notably sweet chocolate covered Oreo, Mr. Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for that watching. Worth okay. whatever I don't. $120? Yeah, exactly. Put it in your I think it was probably more than that. <laughs> 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 that like, uh, well, folks, judging by his reaction, I think the tilt will be full blown now. <laughs> so, thank you for your input. Uh, we'll be doing straw polls in, it in the future. So, we guys keep you guys uh, up to date with what's going on. Let you guys have a, let you guys have a say with what we're doing. You guys, what's the fun of it? We can't interact with you guys. Can we cut the table volume a little bit? And while we're getting this going, we wanted to let you know one more time that tonight's game is brought to you by High Voltage Karting, nice. Northeast Ohio's only extreme go-karting experience. You can visit their website at highvoltagekarting.com. High Voltage. Danger. You heard that song? It's a fun song. Electric Six, I believe. They're going to be having their grand opening next Monday, March 9th. It's located in Medina, Ohio, just off the historic Medina Square. Beautiful part of town. It is. It, it actually is. It's amazing. There's some funky one-way streets, I'll tell you that. But other than that, it's beautiful, beautiful area. I used to work out there, so I used to drive through there every day. Chat room blown up with a lot of LOLs. A lot of funny comments. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Is there even a hand display? I was yeah, Mike, a Mike flopped a flush draw, draw, bet it, and everybody folded. <laughs> I don't think Bradley was too appreciative of that. No, no, I don't think he was. How do you think you would have reacted? Wait, censor um, yourself. I probably couldn't have. <laughs> I, I think I just would have dropped my hands, dropped my face into my hands, just wept. They'd have probably had to ask me to leave because I'd have dropped so many obscenities. <laughs> you are known for those. I'm proud of you, though. You're keeping them under your hat tonight. I'm not playing. <laughs> That's a good point. You can just drop the last hour, Dan. And this is our last hour broadcast for the evening. Rick raises it up and uh, takes it down. <laughs> Players at the table were asking about uh, putting on a straddle the last hour. And those of you that don't know, a straddle is a uh, basically a uh, third blind that's a live bet. Uh, Named after a, a equipment used for a horse. <laughs> but as of right now, our table does not have the capability of putting a straddle on, so we will not be using one. I think it, I think we sort of figured it out the one day. Um, I will, guys, listen. First broadcast, a few kinks to work out. Trust me, with each broadcast, with each stream, we're going to get better and better. Uh, so keep tuning in every week and uh, keep waiting for that finished product to get as polished and as perfect as you're expecting. And uh, keep your comments coming because, believe me, we're reading them and uh, we're taking them all into consideration. 
Tammy, an open raise to 20 <laughs> with 10s. I feel like when you raise that big, you should like be forced to scream boom shakalaka. Yes. There's in our updated chip count. Looks like Rick is uh, rebounded quite well. Yes, he has. He was down to about a buck ten at one point. He's came back with a fury. Pete's still doing really well. Rudy, I think Rudy only bought in for one sixty. One sixty. He's, he's up a really couple well. hundred. Tammy under the gun here with ace three of clubs limps in. <laughs> Rick calls with five six. Holds around to Mike with. Oh wait a minute. Oh, we're switching it up. Yep, we are switching it up. They're coming up one by one now, just for you, tulip sniper. <laughs> You ask, you shall receive. That is the point of our interaction. Ducks. I was gonna say it looks pretty dark. Looks like uh. Well, Darren's got an open end. Tammy's got the nut flush draw. I'd see a little pot build here. Judging by the chat, you are very pleased with our new update of how the cards came out. Come on, Blakey. Come on. Country on. Darren calls with his straight draw. It's funny because funny Tammy actually is bluffing with the best hand and she just doesn't know it. Oh, is Darren just snap yeah. check? Yep. If you, if you have no option to, I mean, I, I love Darren. I've known Darren for a number of years now. I don't see him as often as I'd like to. He's always been a great guy. But Darren, I'm going to pick on you a little bit. So if you're just sitting there just calling for a, a straight, I mean, you're just hoping to, to get there, you got to give yourself another option to win. She didn't show a ton of strength. She was betting like third pot, third pot. Give yourself a chance to win. Like she might be on a draw too. Good point. I think check raising the turn would have been probably the best course of action just because check raising the turn just by and large just it looks a little bit stronger than check raising floppy. Check raising flop tons of tons of drawing hands. It just looks you know a little more face up. Check raising the turn. That kind of raises some eyebrows here and there. That's good for you though, right? It is. I'm actually enjoying this, so we don't get so many hands popping up all over the screen. And we can see everyone's pretty face. Like, you know, if they put us on the screen, oh. there's not all the cards to cover our faces. We don't want to do that. Oh. Tammy's had more medium aces, medium to weak, oh. than it's just uncanny. It's it's really un unbelievable. Who's <laughs> not a Cheeto on there? Three players. And she, she hits it. it. You say hit, I say spank. Again, we're back to the Fifty Shades of Grey situation. She does that, leads out on a, when she hits, a lot. Up. Darren think? calling with the gut shot draw. That's an interesting card. Oh. Oh, I thought you were the button. I think she's disqualified. No, but if you do check, she's forced to bet the 10. <laughs> Make it 60. Yeah, that's where you got to raise. So he's not checking quite as fast this time. Like before when he missed, he just like check gave up. Oh, I it. And it goes check, check. I don't. Interesting. Yeah, he's not giving himself too many chances to win other than hitting the, the, the hand. Lonesome Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when she showed such weakness with that ten dollar bet on the turn, word. We can do that for you, fish head. Every now and again, 
do it overhead <laughs> shot of the uh, the flop turn river from our overhead cam. Uh, we're having a little more technical difficulty here. The last hand is not coming off. Thank you, Jay Cessna. Cessna for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're still showing the last board in the last hand, so this is not correct right now. We have an ace three king on a flop, I can tell from this angle. It's like a seven of clubs. See if we can get this little technical difficulty taken care of. There we go. Wipe, 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 wipe. Sometimes if the cards aren't mucked correctly, the uh, computer system doesn't know that the hand's still not over. Sometimes I feel like a nut. And sometimes I don't. Yeah. I know those chocolate covered Oreos have zero nuts. I might eat mine in front of you actually later. You would do that. Real slow. I'm going to go hit Rick up. I think he's got about a dozen of them out there. Um, yeah, I think he's keeping them in his hat, actually. All right, action's going to be on Bradley. Oh, we're off one. I think it's, I think it's on Rudy. Rudy's a big blind. Rudy's got those double Bs. Four players limping in. Queen nine deuce. Thank you, Bomba eight. Rick bets his flush That's draw. Right. And Tammy calls with bottom check. pair. Check, check. Rick gets there and checks to Tammy. Check, check. I'm going to say like 20, 25. Look at this. Yeah. Snaps it. Just snaps the bottom pair. Once again, it's going to the point where you uh, not a player you want to try and bluff. There's a straight out there, a flush out there, three over cards out there. She's not a player. She just calls a lot. And he just went straight Punisher on her. Ah, huh, straddle. Will they let you? They'll let me on the other. I figured out. Oh boy, Dan, that's what it takes to take the bull by the horns right there, baby. Ah, uh, looks like we might be letting the straddle in there. Live straddle. The bad news is it's $30 straddle. <laughs> We're going to try this straddle here. Probably throw a live straddle. Two calls with the five dollar straddle. Who's gonna jump up and raise it? Upstairs. Makes it forty. Yeah.